Okay, so this is a demonstration on how to feed your snake. What you will need is a mouse, I have one in a plastic bag, um, a small container, or a big container, this is for feeding baby mice, and some hot water. So, what you do is you turn your water on very hot until it's scalding. Then you fill this up till it's almost at the rim. That should be good. Ow, ow, it's burning my fingers. Okay, so now you take a mouse of your desired choice, of your desired size, which is of course the size that your snake needs, and you should keep these frozen, so it's frozen, and then you just plop it in there. Turn them all. And then you put the lid on it. And you do not want to microwave a mouse. It's very messy. It, gets, it can be very, very messy. Now, this is the cage that I keep my snake in. Now, you're going to need to wait a minute for this to go up. I use tweezers and I have this thing because sometimes I drop it I drop the mouse and I need to and my snakes in aggression she's aggressive so I put this I stick this in and I poke it around so she'll get at it so now I'm gonna go up and get the tweezers at your house yeah that was my grandmother okay they're over here Tweezers. Let's go. Okay. Now, what you need to do, I know this sounds gross. You need to open this, get your mouse out, and feel it. Hold it by the midsection, like this, and squeeze a little bit. Mine feels still a little bit cold. It should feel really mushy, except for a little tiny bit by its back, because that's where the spine is. And on its head, it should be hard. So I'm going to put that back in there for a few moments. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grip it by the tail and dangle it down. If you don't have big long ones, you should hold it by back here. So I've been bitten many times doing this. And if you drop, when your snake jumps at it, it'll grab it. And then you should either let, hold on to it for a second, don't drop it, or you'll have to use this thing and poke it around so your snake gets it, because it'll bite you. Unless it's like a very tame snake. Okay, so that's my snake. Hello. She says hello. Because I can speak snake. I'm a parcel tongue. Okay. Now this one feels nice, so, and gushy. You're gonna want to hold it by the very edge. Now watch. Okay, I accidentally dropped it right behind her right there so that's I um it looked like I didn't do it on purpose which I didn't <laughs> just saying now I'm gonna have to poke this down some people are probably saying well it's a sin but she does not mind okay so now she, she's noticed it I poked her head towards it but very very lightly I have tape on this so it's very light and now she's eating. As you can see, this is a very bad quality camera, so.
you should only feed that size most to a baby snake. She usually eats two of this size or one bigger one. But I just, this is just kind of like a snack for her midweek. Because sometimes she gets hungry because she's grown. She's grown up to be a big, strong girl. So, yeah. And now, you can see the big lump. And that is it. So, I'm going to leave her alone. You should leave your snake alone after they eat. And you should skull the your tweezers. So, then you should go back out to your sink or whatever you're using and you should open this oops, and drain the water. Now, put the the thing in and then fill it up with scalding hot water up until um, <laughs> up until it's just over this and then just let it soak Flicked up on me. Alright, now fill this little thing up. I should fill that up a little bit more. So, this your container should sink. And you should use a rather small container for smaller mice. And if you can fit big mice in there, you should, but don't try to use such a big container because it's hard to clean out. And I'm sorry, I'm not a professional at this. I I have only had my snake for a year now. So this is the way that I do it. This is the way that I find works best. So if some of you guys think that this isn't how it, you should do it, just leave a comment. And try not to make it an angry one, please. Just, just inform me that I'm doing it wrong. So then, anyways, you should let that sit until you can... Fully immerse your hand without it being really hot. Like this is very, very hot. <sighs> like I can't, I would not be able to put my hand in there for more than 10 seconds, more than five seconds. <sighs> so yeah, that's how you feed your sink. Now you can put this through the dishwasher once you're done or clean it by hand. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.